When I first learned that my ex-husband had cheated on me and committed bigamy and stolen all of my money, well, I wanted him to pay. I wanted him to feel the embarrassment that I was feeling. I wanted to shame him for his choices. I was angry, I was hurting, and I wanted him to hurt in kind. I wanted to put his name in all of my writings and expose him to the world. And I told myself that that was because I wanted to protect other women, but the reality was, no, it was coming out of a, a desire to see him hurt. And I made light of much of this. It was a sort of a dark humor as I joked about putting fire ants in his car and taking out a billboard with his face on it, listing all of his transgressions. And the dark humor served a purpose. You know, it, it helped to sort of take me out of my sadness a little bit. But it, it wore off after a while because the reality was that that desire for vengeance, that desire for retribution, it didn't make me feel very good. One, it was in opposition to who I am, to who I was. And so it just left me feeling kind of dirty. It wasn't a good feeling. And even though I could recognize that I had all those thoughts out of a desire for control, it really only left me feeling more helpless, more powerless, especially because I recognized it was a, an unquenchable thirst. No matter how much I could have made him pay, literally or metaphorically, it wasn't going to take the pain away. It wasn't going to make everything okay. And really there were two pieces that helped me move on. One, I stopped seeing it as a seesaw. For a while, I thought that I needed him to be doing badly in order for me to be doing okay. And then I realized I wasn't tethered to him anymore. I wasn't connected to him anymore. And that I could do okay regardless of what he was doing. And I couldn't control how he was, but I certainly could put effort into me. And then the other part was, and I've talked about this so many times, but it's where you're putting your energy. I was putting all of my energy into wanting him to pay. And all that was doing was keeping me stuck. And so I needed to let go of him. And even more so, I needed to let go of needing him to pay. Because ultimately that desire for revenge was only hurting me.